Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy, happy Tuesday. It is 8.23 in the morning, and um, I need to go pick up my car this morning from having the oil changed. Um, we ended up, Mom and I ended up going to my older daughter Molly's house last night for dinner. We went over there and cooked spaghetti for National Spaghetti Day and garlic bread. And, um... I uh, had a very good time, so that was good. Um, I had a really a pretty good day yesterday. Um, I had a couple of things that were, I don't know, maybe kind of emotionally were bothering me or um, not really bothered. I, I don't know. I don't know the words to it. I just had a few things that I was struggling with yesterday, I guess. It's the best way to put it, so, but... Um, you know, I don't know, sometimes, like, it's still so hard for me to put me first. Sometimes I just, I still don't know how to do that. And I still want to put other people before me, whether they deserve it or whether they don't. Nobody deserves to be above me or before me except God. But yet, it's like I always just want to put myself right back on that back burner and take care of everybody else first. And make sure that everybody else is good instead of what's worrying about, about worrying about what's, instead of worrying about what's good for Carrie. It's like I just hate knowing that not everybody's, you know, good and okay and taken care of. Whether it's, you know, people in my life, people that used to be in my life, just people I care for. So sometimes I have an emotional struggle with that. You know, good and bad, right and wrong. I just like knowing that everybody's okay. You know, even if it doesn't have anything to do with me, I still like to know that everybody's world is okay and going good. And when I know somebody's isn't, or I feel like somebody's isn't, it's like I take it personal and feel like maybe there's something I could have done to make somebody's day better or happier. I don't know. But, I mean, I guess it's, I mean, you know, there's pros and cons to it. I mean, there's pros and cons to putting yourself on the back burner, and there's pros and cons to worrying about, you know, everybody else's, you know, health and happiness first. But, anyway, so, that's that. I'll get through it. I'll get over it. But we did go to Molly's for dinner, and like I said, we had a great time, so that was really fun for Mom and I. But we got to go there and hang out, and... Me and Alex, my son-in-law, we even chilled for a little while. <laughs> so we went to one of the, they're like spare uh, sitting rooms or whatever, informal, little like dining area, sitting room, whatever. And um, had a long talk about that stuff, so it was really good. But, um, and he was just happy to come home to dinner cooking because my daughter does not cook, like, at all. Like, she, yeah, she's so funny. And that's my fault because Mama always did it. Mama did all the cooking, all the cleaning, all the bills, all the everything, all the vacuuming, the chores, the dishes, the laundry. I mean, I, I, I literally, I did their laundry until they moved out of the house. Um... And believe it or not, my older one was the last one to move out of the house. My younger one moved out at like 19 off to college to Austin. And Molly, she's 28 now. She was 25 maybe when she moved out. I did her laundry up until the day she moved out. <laughs> um, and I, in fact, I was telling my son-in-law last night, um, Alex, I said, I'm pretty sure it's Molly. Alex is Molly's partner and 
Richard is with my daughter Madison. I said it could have been Madison, but I'm pretty sure it was Molly. Um, I, I think they're all over the place, but we have stores called Brahms here where you can go get fresh groceries or um, you know, hamburgers, ice cream, whatever. And, uh, well, here in Texas, you're technically supposed to be 16 before you can get a job, but at Brahms, um, they'll hire you at 15. Well, the house, um, that we lived in for years and years was literally, like, maybe seven houses down the block from a Brahms. Um, it sat, our neighborhood sat behind it. And so, the girls could walk there. Of course, I pretty much drove them, even though it was seven houses, but, um, just like the bus stop was at the end of our block, like literally like one, two, three, four, four houses down, five, fifth house down, I still drove them to the bus stop or drove them to school. <laughs> um, I just love my babies. But um, anyways, and so I was telling Alex, I said, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Molly. Alex is, you know, significant other because um, they're not legally married. But anyways, uh, I said... Back when she was younger and she worked at Brahms, they were getting ready to close one night, and her manager had told her, hey, you know, why don't you go mop the dining room or, you know, whatever they had to do. So she takes the mop, and it's like, I don't know what to do with it. He goes out, apparently, into the dining room, and the ma he, the manager is telling me this story. This is years ago when it happened. He's like, yeah, so I sent your daughter out there to mop, and he goes, and I'll look up, and she's just, like, standing there, and, like, she doesn't even know how to move the mop. Long story short, he walks up to her and is like, Molly, do you even know how to mop? She's like, no, my mom does it all. And y'all have to remember, I was 400 pounds doing all this, living in a two-story house, running and owning a daycare. So I was a single mom. I owned a business of 23 years. I weighed 400 pounds, lived in a two-story. I, I did all I mean, I did all that at being that big, but... But yeah, Mama did everything. So now that Molly's 28, 29, she's just, I love the girl. I tell her all the time, girl, it is, it's good you're cute. It's good you're pretty. <laughs> that poor girl. She can't even cook hamburger helper. <laughs> I love her, though. But, yeah, she's too funny. Too funny. And, like, she had a package of frozen garlic bread. I was just going to make fresh garlic bread like I do at the house. But... So I got it out as I was warming up the oven, and she's like, every time I turn around, she's putting it back in the freezer. I'm like, Molly, like, let it, like, it's frozen. Let it sit out for just a minute, and then I'll put it in the oven or the toaster oven. Never, I would turn around, it'd be right back in the freezer. Like, she doesn't even understand that, like, frozen bread, garlic bread, can sit out for, like, just a minute. <laughs> it's okay. It's not going to hurt anything. But she's so funny. She's so funny. In fact, <laughs> When she invited us over for National Spaghetti Day, she said, she said, well, I've got like some hamburger helper or I can do this and that's pretty much, she said, the limit of my, you know, my, with my limited ability of cooking. That girl will burn Pop-Tarts. I'm not even playing. She will burn Pop-Tarts. <laughs> but she's cute as a bug in a rug, y'all. She's adorable. And it's a good thing. So I was telling Alex, my son-in-law, last night, and he was like, I told her, if there's ever one time I come home and she's cooked anything and I grab about it, like, hit me in the head, because needless to say, he does the cooking. And so I told him, I said, just a heads up, if you think for one second this, it's any different in her sister's and Richard's house, meaning my, my, other, my younger daughter Madison and her significant other, they've been together 10 years, um, and they've lived together... Well, since they moved off to college, 19, so six years, almost seven years, they've lived together. But uh, I said, it is the same. I said, I can tell you, in the seven years they've lived together, Madison has not cooked one time. If anybody cooks, it's Richard. Just like if anybody cooks at Molly's, it's Alex. And I said, so don't you dare think that, that you know, you're with the one that doesn't cook and the other one does. Please. You're, you're looking at the cooker, the cleaner, the maid. The laundry lady, the grocery shopper, picker upper. <laughs> so, I don't know why I'm standing here. I'm supposed to be making my bed. Figured, you know, my sissy loves watching me make my bed, so why not? <laughs> Which, speaking of sissy, I've been meaning to ask you if I should go back on and do another application for camp, summer camp, spring camp. 
I'm sorry, off the on my nose. It's just from being a baby earlier. Um, but yeah, but I was thinking, you know, we're going to aim for our uh, spring BBR camp and hopefully it will not be canceled. So I was thinking I better jump on and redo another application, even though I've done one every time it's been canceled. But I just thought I'd throw that out there for you, sissy. Ooh, my tummy's growling. Coffee. But yeah, so I'm going to make my bed. Um, but, uh, like I said, overall, we had, um, we still had a really good night at Molly's. <laughs> a really good time, even though I was having a little bit, like I said, of an emotional day, but that's okay. Sorry, I'm getting in. Okay. But, um, we had fun. So, hi, sweetie girls. So, that's all that matters, but, and that Molly had fun. Oh, thank you, Amalia. It helps me so much when you get down, actually. So much. And you know, I was thinking I probably ought to just go ahead and do the daily devotional on this video. <laughs> hey, folks, my video. How are you? <laughs> yep. You uh, want me to take you down to get your car when it's ready? Um, no, uh, Mom and I are going to do, I'm going to ride with her on her way out to her appointment. And she going to swing that way and drop me off. What's your appointment for her nails? Uh huh. Okay. Yep, and then doctor tomorrow. Yep. All right, baby. Yep. Thank you, though, Pops. I greatly appreciate that. Uh, any time, darling. Hello. That was my Pops, my dad. I just love him so much. He's like the best guy in the whole world. So, <laughs> he's like, who are you talking to? <laughs> he probably thought I was talking to him, so he came in. So, he's my coffee buddy. We like to drink our coffee in the morning together and watch movies. In fact, one day this week, we're going to have a movie and meal day and we're going to go get some cousins barbecue and we're going to watch um, The War with Grandpa. So mom and I went to the movie and saw it and it was funny. It was really funny. But it actually was on like a pay-per-view or something. So um, so we, um, what is it, like I, uh, I can't think of it but you know you like hit it and it tapes it. Um, I'm losing my words this morning, y'all. Um, not a record. Wait, record? Record? We write? No, it's It's like I don't, I hate it when I confuse my words. Um, record. Record. We do that. The DVR. That's what I was talking about. But yeah, re re record, record, re recorded. That's it. That's the word I'm looking for. Recorded. We recorded it. Whatever. DVR. I don't like that. But yeah, that's what I meant. Except I think I might have pointed down here because that's the one that records. <laughs> records. Yeah, that's right. Right. Oh. It's going to be a bad word day, I can already tell. Anyway, so yeah. We're going to have a meal and a movie, or movie and a meal day 
night, whatever, and watch War with Grandpa since we recorded it. There we go. I should have just stayed with taped. We taped it. Same thing. Same difference. Y'all remember VHS tapes? We taped stuff. <laughs> <coughs> But it's like when I get words that I, I have a hard time remembering, um, especially because like it's like I can see the word, and like literally I can almost see it like written on paper, but I just can't. Either I can't pronounce it, or sometimes just getting the word going. And then once I get it going, and it's weird because I notice things, certain letters like um, P's and R's are really difficult sometimes. And I think there's another one. Maybe it's K's. I have another another one. That's, I knew I should have made my bed while he was down. Um, but, you know, sometimes it just, the signal from here to here gets mumble jumbled. So, but, it, <clears throat> but that's okay. Because we remembered it. Huh, man, man? We remembered it. <clears throat> Now he's going to follow me over the entire bed. <laughs> so, but yeah, so we had a, like I said, we had a really, really good night at Molly's and um, had a yummy dinner. And I went ahead and, of course, after cooking, did all the dishes and got them all put up. Oops. She was like, Mom, do not do those dishes. And I had walked over to the table because she was down eating. So I walked over to the table to get her did her plate, and because everybody else's was pretty much already up, and I said, I told her, I said, honey, give me your plate. She was like, mom, no, sit down, and you're not doing dishes. I was like, Molly, I've done them all except your plate. Give me your plate. She's like, mom, I don't want you to have to watch. And I was like, I'm the mommy. Give me the damn plate. <laughs> so she was like, here. She knows. She said, I'm going to do what she says or she'll smack me in the head. I said, yeah, do not make me pop you upside the head. Child, or listen to me. She knows better. I'm the boss, Applesauce. She knows, they both know that. We ain't playing around. What mama says goes. Hi, boo-boo. Hi, boo-boo, kitty. Boo-boo. <coughs> I still have another... And yes, I'm just getting all the wrinkles out, but I'm also just making sure there's no little pieces of kitty litter or anything. Having four cats, sometimes it happens. Pretty new blanket on. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Come here. Come here, baby. Come on. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, that's my old boy. Yeah, I know. And of course, he's going to come here. Come here, baby. Come here, just for one minute. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I love you too, but can I make the bed? Do you mind? Do you mind? You're kind of making it difficult. Yes, you're kind of making it a little difficult. Yes. Um, let's see. So today's Tuesday. I don't have too much planned for today. I need to... Actually, I need to jump on after I get my car and get back home. I need to jump online and um, get a couple things ordered from Amazon um, that I need to get ordered. I should have done it yesterday. Oh, <laughs> Molly. You're going to drive yourself crazy following me, boy. You know that. You are so silly. Yes, you're so silly. That's why I have to get on you. You're such a sweet boy. You're such a sweet boy. Um, but yeah, so... <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Sorry, my man. 
but yeah, so I need to do that today, and I guess that's really about it that I can think of, at least. <clears throat> hey, Mammy Ann. Boo-boo, can you think of anything that Mommy needs to do? And he's like, give me a T-R-E-A-T. <laughs> I'm not going to say the word because they all know it. And the dogs know it. If the dogs hear it, we're going to go, we're going to go. Hello. You're a kitty penny pillow or two. I just love this pillow. It's so cute. So. <clears throat> How's that, Mimi? How's that? Bed is made. Yes. Hi, pretty girl. Um, he, he does this car. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. Uh, I'm gonna turn the lights on. There's those. Okay, I'm going to end this and I'm going to pick right back up because I like to do the daily devotional just completely separate by itself. So.